Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, today we're going to be putting fringe on scarves. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And we are putting fringes on scarves today. We're talking scarves for a few weeks actually. We're going to be doing all sorts of things with scarves just to add that extra special touch to them. Let's get to it. Let's put some fringes on scarves. These could be knitted scarves, these could be crocheted scarves, and just be willing to experiment and have some fun with this. So we're all ready to start winding the yarn around our book. With this kind of book, you have the option of winding it that way or that way. So I'm going to wind it that way, and like I said, I can always trim it. I'm going to wrap this and make sure that when you're wrapping, the wrap, the way that you wrap is similar all the way through. You need to wind it loosely or tightly, just, just make a decision. Obviously, if you make, if you wind it tightly, then it will spring back and you'll end up with a slightly shorter piece of yarn. I think I've wrapped one too many pieces there, but that's okay. And what I'm going to do, the beauty of using a hardback book, is that I now have this piece here, this lip, through which to cut. It makes it a lot easier. There you go. Those are the wraps. And now I'm just going to split this up into wraps of four. we are one two three four five six seven and <laughs> like I said I think I had one wrap too many okay so we're gonna use one of these at a time that's why I've split them up and we need a crochet hook now when I was knitting this I used Aran yarn so this is all the same yarn Aran yarn and five millimeter needles so what I'm using here is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook if you do have one a similar size or slightly higher that's the point, we need to be slightly higher because we're not picking up one strand, we're picking up more than one strand, we're picking up four. And we can pick up four here, that's the point. It's not too difficult to pick up four strands. If you would like to go a couple of um, sizes higher, then do that, that's also an option. What I'm going to do is turn this over. So we're looking at the wrong side of the scarf. If you have a double-sided scarf, a reversible scarf, then you can look at either side, it doesn't matter. But I'm looking at the wrong side, so I'm going to do the two ends first. And I'm going to poke the crochet hook through. Nothing scientific about this, it doesn't have to be right at the edge or one row in, it just has to be a hole near the edge of the scarf. We're not getting complicated, this is a fringe on a scarf. And I just want to make sure these lengths are kind of meeting up. There we go, at least at one end. So then I fold them in half, and that loop is where I'm going to put the crochet hook. And I'm going to pull that loop through that hole. And just give it a bit enough space through there. And then fingers through and I pull the rest of the fringe piece through there and just tighten it off. That's one piece of fringe. Now I'm going to pick up another one and do the other end. Fold it in half. And so crochet hook through. Doesn't have to be scientific, just pull it through. Pull that loop through and then top two fingers through there and tighten it up. 
There we go, that's two pieces. Now what I'm going to do is fold this in half and find the middle. See, I'm not counting stitches, nothing crazy about this, it just is. And I'm putting a crochet hook through so I know where it is. Now I'm gonna pick up another length of fringe. That looks brilliant, they're pretty much all the same length there. They are gonna go on the end of the crochet hook. I'm gonna pull that loop through. Sometimes you're gonna pull them through and you'll miss one or, you know, something will go wrong. Um, so just let go, put it through again and start over. There we go. Just let that through, fingers through, pull the ends and tighten it up. There we are. That is three pieces of the fringe. I'm gonna sit here and just put two in between each of those. Okay. That's, that's looking pretty good. Now you can see it's jaggedy at the end. So we need to find the shortest ones and I think that could well be there. And we chop it off there. Or we choose a length and we chop it. You can chop it in a few pieces if you like, if you're kind of scared to go short, um, thinking it will be too short. Now I would suggest rather than using a small pair of scissors like this, if you have a larger pair of scissors that maybe you use for sewing, um, then that would be ideal. They're created for, pieces, for cutting large pieces of fabric at once so you get straight lines. That's an ideal time to do that. The other option is you can pull in a larger book and keep it straight there. Um, so it's like you're doing a haircut. Um, you have that fringe and it's ready and then you just put it to the edge of a table and chop it at the edge there So you can't actually see that there. <laughs> But imagine it it's at the edge of a table and You can just chop it where the edge there meets the edge of the table and you will have a straight edge to it if there are Any flyaway pieces that just get caught then um, by all means um, Trim them another time. So there you go. That's that is creating your fringe. It's tying them up here. So that's seven pieces to a fringe. I did four pieces in each. And I have a couple of samples here just to show you. This is a fatter one. I did short with more pieces. They've got six strands, two of each color in each piece. And I've done six here. I've put eight pieces of fringe in. I'm in the middle of knitting this scarf and I thought great option to show you fringe in a different style. Three pieces of yarn over eight strands, over eight pieces of fringe. So that was 24 pieces I needed all together for that. There we go. I hope that was fun for you. You now know how to put fringes on scarves. It's not too difficult. You just need your knitted scarf and you need a crochet hook and of course you need some extra yarn. I will see you next week and next week we're putting tassels on scarves. So very similar, but just slightly different. See you for that. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>